Hi friends, Marcy Schoenborn here of ShowFit. And if you want to learn all things that help you age well, please subscribe to my channel and tell your friends that might be interested. So today I'm doing a follow-up on the creatine talk and follow-ups would be any questions that people may ask. One of the questions about creatine was creatine and headaches. This was a really good question and this actually did happen to me. So yes, creatine can sometimes cause headaches, though this is not very common and is usually linked to how it's taken rather than the supplement itself being inherently problematic. So here's a breakdown of why it can happen and how to avoid it. So why creatine might cause headaches? Dehydration, that was my issue. I am not always a good water drinker and taking creatine has actually helped me drink more water because if I don't drink, for me at least 120 ounces seems to be my magic number, then I get these little like kind of spikes of pain in my head and I know you are a little dehydrated from creatine using up some of your water. And so it draws water into your muscles, intracellular hydration, which increases your body's need for water. So before I was taking creatine, I was probably drinking 75-ish, 60 to 75-ish. Again, I was not the best water drinker anyway, um, but that was about my ounces. And now I've, I'm up to 120 and even sometimes more, depending on a lot of factors. If you're sweating in your workouts, you need more water. If you live in a dry climate, you need more water. So don't just go by the numbers that I'm throwing out there. You need to assess yourself and know yourself. Um, so if you're not using uh, fluid, if you're not increasing your fluid intake, you may get headaches, cramping, or dizziness. And none of that is fun, is it? So solution, drink an extra 16 to 32 ounces of water daily when supplementing. Too much at once. So taking too much creatine at one time, loading phase. So some people use a loading phase of 20 grams a day for five to seven days. And my thoughts on the loading phase, I have researched it. So if you load it, you're going to get it into your body faster. But say you don't load it six months from now, two months from now, you're going to have the same benefits. So if you're concerned with how it may react in your system, skip the loading phase. Okay, so personal preference. I used creatine when I was younger and I did a loading phase. Now that I'm older, I'm really using it more for um, the cognitive benefits and other overall health benefits. When I was younger, I was using it for aesthetics. So um, some people use a loading phase, 20 grams a day for five to seven days. This can spike intracellular fluid shifts or digestive distress, indirectly leading to headaches or pressure. So a tip, skip the loading phase and take a steady three to five grams a day instead. It's just as effective long-term and gentler on your system. Additives or fillers, some cheaper creatine powders or capsules contain artificial sweeteners, dyes, stabilizers like silicon dioxide or magnesium stearate. These can trigger headaches in sensitive individuals. So you wanna choose pure creatine monohydrate with no additives. And that we have that at ShowFit Nutrition and I can even give you a discount for that. Caffeine and creatine combo. Some pre-workout blends combine creatine with caffeine or other stimulants. We do have that in, in one of our products. Um, for people prone to tension or migraine type headaches, this combo can increase blood pressure and vascular tension. Rare intracranial pressure sensitivity. Because creatine supports cellular hydration and potentially affects brain cell fluid volume, very, in very rare cases, it may slightly increase intracranial pressure. This is usually not an issue in healthy individuals, but if someone has a neurological condition, caution may be warranted. And I'm seeing a lot of influencers across the board just throw creatine information out there. I actually even had somebody comment under my creatine post that creatine doesn't hurt your kidneys. Um, there's not enough science, not enough research and data yet about kidneys for me to confidently allow my clients that have chronic kidney disease to take creatine. And 
we should always be cautious. We should always be paying attention to um, how supplements can affect us in the wrong ways because the, you know they're, 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 it, a lot of this is still newer research. So don't ever assume that, uh, that you can just take a supplement blindly. That is a big mistake. So if you're not working with somebody like me that can answer those questions and then say, you know what, I think you need to ask your doctor, um, you need to be working with somebody that can tell you that. Please do not trust these people that are just shouting from the rooftops that everybody needs to be on creatine. That could be a big mistake for you. So why you can do it if you suspect creatine, I'm sorry, what you can do if you suspect creatine is causing headaches. Hydrate more. Aim for one half your body weight in ounces daily. I was doing more than half my body weight and that was not enough for me. I weigh about 127 pounds and I'm drinking about 120 ounces of water. So I'm almost matching pound for pound my water in ounces. Use only pure creatine monohydrate, no blends, no additives. Reduce the dose, try two to three grams a day for a few days. Take with food to stabilize absorption. Skip the loading phase. And so it's a huge bonus that the brain loves creatine. I was taking creatine, geez, 20 some years ago and didn't, we didn't know the science about the brain and creatine. I was entirely taking it for strength and aesthetics and everything that went along with it um, on a vanity point. And now everything I do is about health. That's why I always also put warnings out and try to educate you so that you know all the information, not just what the influencers um, that aren't knowledgeable want you to know. So a lot of them are just throwing information out there and that's dangerous. So creatine isn't just for muscles, it also supports brain energy metabolism. It may help reduce mental fatigue and depressive symptoms is being researched for cognitive support in aging, concussion recovery, and neurodegenerative disease. So when tolerated well, it can be a powerful tool, but as with all supplements, bio-individual response matters. And friends, it's also always good to blend it with good nutrition. That is what I specialize in, cellular nutrition. I help people heal from the inside out. I help people reverse diseases. I had five diagnosis myself 11 years ago. I have none today at 60. And we should not be taking supplements to out supplement a poor diet. We should be using supplements with perfect nutrition, quality nutrition, fueling our body well. And that's when we're going to see all the good benefits across the board. So if you have any questions, please reach out to me. I love doing research. Happy to answer your questions. And I hope you have a fabulous day. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, please. Tell your friends and come and see me again. I'll be putting videos out often. Be blessed. Have a great day.